Here we are at CCAG. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff for sale here. It's pretty crowded. What's up everybody? G the foreign gamer with some new pickups. And uh it's been a busy weekend. I went to the CCAG convention and pretty much one broke after that. So here are some pickups. First up, I hit a garage sale and I picked this guy's up with uh some random discs and others and there were also a few PS1 games which I traded or like four or five more PS1 games and I only paid 10 bucks all the discs are there so that was pretty cool the um, the PS1 games that I got with that lot I traded for this game Resident Evil 6 Anthology which uh, I didn't have, and no, it's not new, so it might not, uh, the codes might not work for the older games, but I still wanted to have it as part of my Resident Evil collection. I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. So, that was pretty cool. I also picked up some Mega Man goodness. That's right, I do like Mega Man. And uh, what better way to collect for them than with the whole collection right here into this and PS2? And uh, 
This plus another game I'm going to show you in a bit was only 30 bucks. And the other game, well, not just game, but collector's edition, was the Balls of Steel edition of Duke Nukem Forever. Still has most of the shrunk wrap around it. And it's complete. Hail to the king, baby. Complete and even like this thing's sealed. This are closed. It's in really, really minty shape. This is one of the coolest editions I've seen of a game because it has so many extras. Duke Nukem's bust is pretty cool. I'm gonna put that up for display somewhere when I get my game room going. But look at this bunch of good goodness here. Duke Nukem Forever, obviously the game. Art book. Pretty sweet. Comic book. Stickers. Certificate of Authenticity. It's pretty sweet. Paper foldable Duke Nukem. Now that's cool. I don't see that very often. Hail to the King Everest. Are these like postcards? Anyways, that's pretty cool. Usually you don't get that many swag with your special editions but this one's pretty it's actually pretty neat now obviously the game is not what we all expected it to be but it's not so bad as people say it is moving on uh ps1 tony hawk 2 now i spent hours hours in this game or guys or whatever you guys call it I only got this game because uh, I love Final Fantasy and uh, Cloud and Sephiroth appear in this, which is pretty cool. Gonna check that out. And Monster Sink, yes, I know, but I played this when I was a kid, and I love it. Uh, got some good DS games here. Now I, I I've already played. Uh, this one, but this one looks pretty cool and I haven't tried it yet, like an overview site, so gotta check that out. I also picked up some papers and a Mortal Kombat poster, it's gonna be hanging in my wall soon, so I'm gonna show it off then. This was only a bug at Goodwill and I had to get it, it was just looking at me sad. So, I got that. For 10 bucks at the convention, I bought the Cydia uh, soundtrack, which I didn't have. It's pretty cool. And a couple of awesome games. Super Street Fighter 2 and Dracula. Not bad for 10 bucks, especially at a convention. I picked up this movie for, I think it was a buck somewhere. Yeah, it was a bucket of garage sale. And this little ancient systems, this were a bucket piece too. And uh, yes, this were before my time, but they're pretty cool. And uh, they're st they still work, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, they still work. Anyways, let's move on. At Goodwill, along with that X-Files game, I picked up World of Warcraft Burning Crusade Collector's Edition. And you see that sticker there? Yes, I only paid one dollar for this. It's pretty cool, I mean it's not in the best shape, but it's pretty nice. It's heavy. And uh, it comes with a, with a 
walk through behind this one. Whoops. That's heavy. There we go. Not a big World of Warcraft fan. I did play a lot of Warcraft 3 back then. But, uh, this thing's pretty cool. I think they're missing something here. Gotta look up, look it up, what it is that I'm missing, but other than that, it looks to be everything. Everything looks to be there. This is pretty sweet, especially for a Goodwill pickup. Uh, I paid two bucks for this PC game, and it's sealed, and I love PC games, especially the old school ones, and this is an RPG. It looked pretty nice. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if I'm going to open it or not. I'm one of those that don't like to have sealed stuff because I want to play stuff. But we will see. Save this one for later. Also, another PC game. Virtuous Squad 2. Which, I believe it was just the computer version of Virtua Cop. Cop. Ah. Uh, so yeah, now this one's not sealed, but the CD case is. There's not much in it, just the CD case and a couple papers. I also picked up for my Resident Evil collection the second part of the archives. Now I just need the first. And a couple hours to read it, to go through it. But it's pretty cool, I've been wanting this for a while. And lastly, I have three more games I picked up. This one's uh, some of the best. First of all, I completed the trilogy. Now I have all three Castlevanias for the Game Boy Color. Castlevania Legends. Granted, they're not complete in the box, but it's a, it's a step forward. Also picked up Castlevania Classic Nest, which makes me the owner of all the Game Boy Advance Castlevanias. Which is pretty sweet. And I finally picked up a copy of Final Fantasy II. Pretty excited about that too, because I've been wanting this guy for a long time. So as you can see, yes, I am broke. Oh, hold on, I almost forgot something. This garage sale had three bucks night vision goggles. And I believe this ones are the ones for that uh, Call of Duty edition. And they works, which is pretty neat. And that Call of Duty edition picks up like a hundred bucks complete and just for three bucks to get the night vision goggles it's a pretty good deal anyways I think that's it yes that's gotta be it for now as you can see I I am broke I'm gonna <laughs> have to control myself in the future uh, I know there's this convention in Columbus nearby that I might be hitting in September but I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'll upload some more videos before then. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta go through this and play this stuff now. It's pretty nice. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I hope to see you soon. And don't forget to subscribe.